So I'll admit, I was pretty excited to watch Devs today. I thought about it and I realized I must be enjoying this show because I am really looking forward to the episode. And I feel like I will feel bad when I finish the episode and I have to wait another week to see the next episode. So the show is doing something right. It gets so, so, so close to being a great show though. And instead I think it's just a very good show. And the reason I think it falls short is because so often, instead of making you care about characters, and I'm, I'm repeating a point I've made in pretty much every review of an, a weekly episode, but I'm going to say it again. Instead of making you care about characters, it tells you what to feel about characters. I noticed it this episode in particular when Forrest told us that Jamie has a sweetness to him. And he also told us that they, you know, Katie and Forrest told us how strong Lily was. And that, and basically, this was all designed to tell us how we need to feel about these characters. And I think they did this because they know they probably haven't done the work to make us naturally feel that way about the characters. Not a lot happened this episode. Basically, just some conversations between Katie and Lily, as I said, and Forrest and Jamie. I did not see that going down that way. I really expected there would be more conflict between these characters if they ever met up. But basically all they did was have discussions about philosophy and didn't really give us a whole lot of new information. They were interesting conversations, but they really felt very forced and unnatural, as most of the conversations in this show feel. They didn't feel like a conversation that people would actually have. And it didn't really seem to set up much, in my opinion. It just kind of teased out some more philosophical potentials, potentialities that might get explored in the next two episodes. There was a lot of talking. It was kind of a surprise to me where this episode went because basically it was uh, Jamie and Lily after Jamie has just rescued Lily from the mental ward last week. She and he go and they t pay a visit to Forrest and Katie, and they basically splinter off into subgroups with ladies and male only groups. And Jamie and Forrest have a powwow and don't really talk about anything that significant. They basically just talk about how they've lost people in the past and they sort of bond about that over a game of frisbee. That whole conversation seemed pretty forced to me. I personally felt that there wasn't really a strong connection between these two characters. I don't feel like there's really a strong connection between any group of characters, but particularly between these two characters. Because the whole time I'm just sitting here thinking, are we supposed to like Forrest? Didn't he sit by and watch while Kenton murdered Sergi in episode one? Are we really supposed to feel bad for him just because his daughter died? So I personally felt like that conversation with Forrest and Jamie was kind of a waste of time. There was more going on in the conversation between Lily and Katie, although this conversation kind of felt like an infomercial for somebody's philosophy class. And it was, it was a conversation that gave very little new information, but it was interesting. Now, the biggest revelations in this conversation to me, one, we find out that Katie and Forrest are in a relationship, which I had not picked up on up till this point. I guess a man and a woman can't work together at a company and have a close working relationship without being in a physically involved relationship in a show. Anyway, um, I felt like I was, I didn't realize that was what was going on. If other people picked up on that, let me know because I didn't realize that was what they were going for with that relationship. But in any case, the more important revelations, well, there weren't really a lot of revelations. They mainly just had a discussion about whether or not things happen for a reason and obviously Lily says that there's just a lot of things that are random in the universe and I felt like this conversation was just a bunch of semantics because Katie essentially argues well 
it's a lot of things happen in the universe not for good reasons but there is a reason for instance a boy gets cancer well it might be that it's not a good reason but you can look at factors in his genetic makeup you can look at the things he's been exposed to and figure out why he got cancer but i think that they're actually splitting hairs because what lily is actually saying is when things happen oftentimes there is no compelling reason for it to happen from a philosophical standpoint there's no you know higher purpose to a boy getting cancer it just maybe happens from her viewpoint and katie's arguing well no there's things that you could point to that caused it to happen but what katie is talking about is the mechanism the things that ultimately led the cancer to happen but she's not talking about like if there was a higher purpose and the conversation bleeds into their discussions about what's going on at the labs and what devs is and it's not new information to the audience and essentially the the most interesting question is katie says well you're going to show up at the labs and she doesn't tell her that she's going to die but she does tell her you're going to show up the thing has predicted that you will show up there's no getting around it and he's like well um, watch me not show up now now that you've told me that i have to show up i'm just not going to show up just to prove you wrong that was kind of the vibe i was getting from her character and kenton shows up just as jamie and lily are leaving their get together with forrest and katie and he seems a little put off by it and I suspect that he's going to go after them and potentially I suspect he's probably going to kill Jamie if I have to guess what's going to happen next. I don't think that Kenton is going to not kill someone in the next couple episodes. Although maybe he'll kill Forrest and Katie instead. I don't know. He's going to kill somebody for sure. There's no, you know, he's such a violent character. Uh, you know, I think Alex Garland is doing a really good job directing here. There's that tension constantly going on because he has set up considerable stakes you feel like characters can die and you know there's always a little hint of horror to garland's best projects there was a hint of horror in ex machina there was a hint of horror in annihilation and there's a hint of horror here and you know i think that ultimately the trick is you feel like he could do anything to his characters but you kind of feel like that's the case because he doesn't really care about them so the story is really unpredictable i'm not sure where it's going lily could die in the next two episodes i kind of suspect she won't i kind of suspect there will be a bittersweet ending somehow we'll see where it goes i've got a very foreboding feeling that this show has set up i definitely think there's going to be an earthquake and it's going to destroy the devs lab due to that conversation uh, in episode three, I believe, or was it episode four? I'm not sure. Um, I kind of have to laugh <laughs> that this episode, episode six, had that I, I would be remiss not to bring up the conversation between Stuart and Lyndon, which again didn't really establish anything new, but it does kind of potentially set up Lyndon and Stuart to make moves, and I'm not sure what those moves would be, and they would be going against. Forrest, who Lyndon has said very clearly, he thinks is crazy. Lyndon says he's basically disputing the reality of what I've shown rather than whether or not what I've done works. And that is an interesting problem to have. It kind of harkens back to, in some ways, the Catholic Church, where they felt that certain scientific discoveries were going against what they had been teaching and whether or not that actually was the case they violently tried to suppress the things that went in opposition to what they perceived to be their teaching and it's interesting whenever people you know stop people from pursuing the truth because they don't like where the truth is going i think that it's a problem because we should always pursue the truth as much as possible and 
you know, wherever that inquiry takes us, if what we believe is true, then the pursuit of truth is never going to harm us or what we believe. So I'm in it to win it with the show. I'm definitely interested to see where it goes. And I, I think it's highly unpredictable where it will go. But I haven't seen a whole lot yet that has made me feel really, really invested. I, When I really, really think a show is good, I make my wife watch it because I have a lot more time to watch TV than she does. And I just haven't felt like she would like this show because it's just not quite at that level. It's very good, but it's not quite at the level where I feel like it's must-watch TV yet. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments, and if you want to see more reviews like this one, please subscribe to the channel. <laughs>